How's it going everybody? Corbin here from Zoco Marketing. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over how to fix disapproved products inside of Google Merchant Center or errors that you're getting inside of Google Merchant Center. I'm gonna show you exactly how to troubleshoot these errors, how to figure out what's going on exactly. Now, there are a ton of different errors that can happen inside of Google Merchant Center. And trust me, I understand how frustrating they can be. Um, that being said, I will not be going over how to uh, fix a, exactly every specific error that you may be, may be having, but I will be going over um, how to, the process on how to do that, and also be going through some specific examples on how to fix these errors. So this will be a very hands-on kind of video and hopefully you find it helpful because I, uh, as I was going through and um, learning this process, you know, years ago, there was never really a video that some, of somebody going through and actually walking through on how to fix these um, examples. So hopefully you find this one helpful if you are having problems with your Google Merchant Center um, products being disapproved. Now, just a, a disclaimer, this video is not um, about how to get your account uh, uh, reapproved or fixed. If you want to learn how to get your account, if your whole account has been flagged or disapproved, check out this video above. That will walk you through on how to get your account approved. This one is going through specifically an account that is still running, but maybe um, some of the products inside of your product feed are disapproved or getting errors of whatever uh, whatever kind it may be. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, first, first thing to start troubleshooting the errors inside of Google Merchant Center is you're going to come to the overview tab and you're going to notice, notice that you have like shopping ads, you have dynamic remarketing, you have your buy on Google listing and your free listing. And the interesting thing is you'll notice that sometimes things get approved on uh, you know, shopping ads where on buy on Google, you get these errors. And uh, as you can see, I have more errors inside of this account than I do on the shopping with Google. Um, so you're gonna wanna pay close attention to these, these, these graphs basically. And when you see big spikes like this, you know, where you have a big massive uptick in disapproved red, you're gonna wanna go in and troubleshoot those different things. So as you see for our normal shopping ads though, most of the, the products are active. You know, we have 99% or so, but then we have, you know, 100, 100 products that are disapproved inside of here. So this is a quick way for you to know, get a general overview of what's active, what's disapproved, um, expiring items, so on and so forth. Um, now, even though, you know, only uh, 100 items are disapproved, that could be huge for your business, right? If that's maybe some of your top selling items and those are disapproved, that can be a huge negative impact. So how I go, start, go about troubleshooting these is you're gonna to wanna to click on this diagnostics tab. And from here, what it's gonna do is it's going to show you all of the different errors that you're currently getting inside of Google Merchant Center. So some of the ones that are currently being shown right here is image not received, crawl pending, uh, promotional overlay on image, unsupported value, um, duplicate GTIN, <coughs> uh, invalid GTIN, uh, violation of uh, shopping, <coughs> sorry, I got something caught in my throat there, violation of shopping ads policies, and the list goes on and on and on, right? So there's all these different errors. And like I said, I'm not gonna go through each individual error and show you how to fix them because uh, that would just take a, a long time. But the first thing you can do is if you're not sure what the error is or what it's related to, is they have this nice little question box here that allows you to go through and learn more about what the, the error may be. So that for this one, image not, image not retrieved, crawl pending. That just means that the, the wait period for this product to be crawled is up to three days. So it might be a minute before that gets crawled and updated there. But if we come here to promotional overlay, uh, pro, pro, promotional overlay on image, you can click learn more. And this will take you to an exact page on what is happening, give you a description on why it is happening inside of your, why you're getting this error um, and whatever it may be. So go through and read these. And as you do this more, you're gonna get more familiar exactly what the these errors mean and how to fix them quickly. But after you've gone through and done that, another thing that you can do, for instance, for this promotional overlay, on image is you can come over here and you can hit view examples. This is gonna show you examples of uh, exactly the products that are being affected by these errors. So we're gonna hit view examples here. And this is gonna show you a whole list of, of uh, examples. And what you can do from here is you can actually click on one of the exact examples and it's gonna show you what is what is going on here. So as you can see for this one, the, the, the reason why this is getting disapproved is because I have this little natural over the product itself. And Google doesn't like you to have uh, text over the, the product. So I need to go through and fix the image inside of here. So that this would be a situation where I would go into my Shopify store. This one's connected to Shopify. And you'd actually have to go through and remove either the little text on that overlay or whatever it may be. And as you can see, it, this is currently being flagged on, uh, on for shopping, dynamic, buy on Google, and free listing because of this uh, violation. And this also doesn't have a GTIN, um, which means I need to go through and map that as well. I'm not going to get into GTINs for this video specifically, but it just gives you a lot of different um, information here. Here you can see the item status. 
So as you see, product, uh, product GTIN requirements, request a review. You can request a review if you think that this is a custom product and it doesn't need a GTIN, you could go through and request a review. If not, you're gonna have to go and find that GTIN. And for those who aren't familiar, GTIN stands for Global Trade Identification Number. If you're essentially reselling a product uh, for a specific brand, each of those has a unique GTIN and that needs to be attached to your Google Shopping Ads. But um, you can request a review of that if it is a custom product and doesn't require a GTIN. Um, and then for here, the other issue that we're having is the promotional overlay on the text. And as you can see, this actually has a couple of different ones. The GTIN is uh, hurting it and then value may be too high for handling time. So this gives you all of the information that you really need to need to go through and figure out how to fix the, the product um, uh, inside of your either Shopify store or inside of Merchant Center. So now we can go through and look at a couple other examples. So if we come into here back onto all, or sorry, into diagnostics, and then we're gonna click in, then as you can see, we can maybe come in over to here to this violation of shopping ads policy. So a lot of times what I've noticed with this violation of shopping uh, shopping ads policies, most of the time this one is a mistake by Google and you just need to simply come in and request a review. So we're gonna come in look at examples. We're gonna click on one of these and we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna see exactly why this is. Um, so yeah, so this is saying this is a, is a dangerous product, recreational drugs or drug related equipment. This is clearly not, it is a, a home decor item. So all we need to do to fix this item is we just need to come over here, request a review, um, say yes, and then request a manual review. And now Google will go through and um, crawl that. They'll actually look at it themselves and hopefully get that back <laughs> underway and showing for us inside of here. You can notice that the, there are differences in the issues. So if we come back here, this, this um, issue is actually making it disapproved. So it's not showing up on Google shopping ads at all. And then you'll notice that there's these little um, yellow with warning saying, hey, this isn't, um, this is making it so maybe your, your product is being limited by Google Shopping Ads, but we're still showing it. So obviously the first issues you wanna take care of are the red ones, but then if you have any of these yellow warnings inside of here, you're also gonna to wanna to give those a little bit of attention as well. And as you can see here, ungrouped variance based on matching value. So if you wanna learn what that meant, you could click inside of here and then value too high handling times, you could do the same thing and learn more about what that means and how to fix it by clicking these links. Once again, I just don't wanna go through and click on all these links and talk to you about how to fix each one of these solutions because I'm sure everybody here watching this video has different problems that they're going to, to do. So this is a more of teaching you how to fish instead of just giving you the fish kind of tutorial. So um, hopefully you found this uh, video helpful if you are experiencing problems with your um, Google Merchant Center. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll try to get to every question that I see inside of the video. And uh, good luck with your, your shopping. I know it can be a, your Google shopping. I know it can be a pain sometimes, but if you can get this working, it pays off so well. So now basically the next thing for you to do is just come back over this diagnostics and go through every single one of these values. I know it can be a pain, but go through and, and fix essentially every single one of these errors. And once that's done, you're gonna wanna come back over to your overview and you're gonna wanna make sure it's been fixed for your shopping ads, your dynamic remarketing, um, your buy on Google listing, free listing, um, go through and click on all these. So as you can see, I have a lot of work to do on this, this new account that um, we're working on, a lot of things to do, but uh, I, I'm very optimistic, especially for an account like this. It's, it's kind of fun when you see all these errors because once you go through and fix them, the return on ad spend that you start seeing and the performance in the account just um, skyrocket. So make sure you're taking care of these, um, these problems as soon as they arise. Don't, don't be like this account and wait to solve these problems. You're gonna to wanna to do them as soon as you can. Um, hopefully you found this video helpful. And uh, if you did, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video and we'll see you in the next one.